The return of NBA basketball in the form of preseason play has been long awaited and the play on the court has opened our eyes up to a few surprises heading into the new year. It's always nice to see videos of players in the gym working on their games posted on social media throughout the summer in the form of pickup games and private workouts, but you don't truly see the full extent of how much they've improved until they begin playing with their teams again against real NBA competition. For today's video, we're going to be discussing one player in particular that many people have been encouraged by so far, but I still have some concerns with as he heads into a potential make or break season, with that player being Markel Fultz of the Orlando Magic. Before we get started though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. Fultz's career to this point, to put it bluntly, has been weird. He's basically missed two whole seasons, playing only a handful of games in each season because of the fact that something's been messing with his jump shot. He very obviously didn't shoot the ball the way that he did in high school and college, resorting instead to a much more uncomfortable looking, clunky, hesitant form in the NBA. Now with the Orlando Magic, he's out there playing again, back in game action, not hiding anymore after a relatively quiet summer from him. In the three preseason games the team has played so far, he's even made a relatively good impression, doing some things that have Magic fans excited about a potential turnaround in his career. His handle is so silky smooth, and when he wants to, he can really slither his way into the paint with ease. This opens up the part of his game that he's best at, because once he penetrates, he has a very high IQ and tends to make the right play, between putting up a floater or a little pull-up shot in the paint, or laying it off to an open teammate to set them up for an easy basket. The reactions by many fans seeing him do this is that he's looking like a brand new player compared to the bust they're used to watching in Philadelphia. However, nothing he is doing now in an Orlando uniform is really any different than what he did in a Philadelphia uniform, which brings me to the main point of me making this video and still having quite a few concerns with Fultz at the moment. If we go back to the summer of 2018, Markel Fultz was still not diagnosed with any specific injury, and at the beginning of the summer, he began working with relatively well-known NBA trainer Drew Hanlon. Hanlon has made waves on social media by promising that he could fix any player's jump shot in a mere three months, so because summers generally last about three months, and Markel was desperately in need of some retooling in that regard, Sixers fans got excited about him again after a disappointing first campaign. All throughout that summer, the work Fultz was putting in was kept heavily under wraps, with virtually no video at all leaking from his workouts. Throughout this entire process, Hanlon continually reassured people that Fultz was making progress and that he would be good to go for the season, and at the end of the summer, when training camp was about to begin, he dropped a montage of Fultz's workouts throughout that summer and, while they did show an obvious improvement in form and results, it did look still a bit off. I can't play it in this video for copyright reasons, but I will link the video in the description so you all can see the reference to where his shot was a year ago. No matter though, because the improvement was still promising and he took that into the season with high hopes. At the start of the season, he may not have been efficient with it, but he did at least show a willingness to shoot threes, having attempted 13 threes in the first 8 games of that season. Then something changed and he completely stopped shooting them altogether, going 10 straight games without a 3 point attempt. In that span, his form was also getting worse by the game. He was pump faking free throws, and all the hard work he seemingly put in went down the drain. So bringing the conversation back to the present, yes, Markel Fultz shooting videos are once again becoming all the rage, and he has attempted a few threes in preseason, but the fact of the matter is that his jump shot form is still not fixed, and honestly, the shoulder injury that was holding him back in Philadelphia is more than likely still affecting him now. His shot still has a hitch at the top, the release is very far out in front of his body, and there's little chance that he's going to be a reliable perimeter shooter if this continues. 
The rest of his game has definitely been positive, don't get me wrong, as his playmaking and finishing at the rim have been tough to stop, but what people need to realize is that he was doing all of that in Philadelphia as well, and that this isn't new for him. The perception seems to be that he was a completely awful player in Philadelphia, when that isn't the case at all. He was actually a pretty productive point guard, especially when he came off the bench, and was used as a spark plug for the second unit. And that's likely the role he's going to have in Orlando, so I fully expect him to thrive in that role. The reason his tenure was seen as such a failure in Philly was because he was the number one pick in 2017 after the team traded up to get him, and the expectation was that he would be a future star. That star potential is all but gone seemingly until this shoulder stuff clears up but he can still be a valuable member of the rotation and give the Magic good minutes, which is exactly what I expect out of him. But if you're under the impression that he's in for a massive breakout year, then you may want to ease up on those expectations for him a bit. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what you expect out of Markel this season down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.